Welcome back to a new episode where I will be showing you a great feature called Font Awesome Icons. Font Awesome is a web font used by website designers and developers for icons instead of traditional old image icons. So instead of going to Google and, well, downloading images like a button down or illustrator image, we can just use Font Awesome. A huge advantage is that it's well pretty flexible in terms of coloring, sizing and stacking on top of other background styles using plain CSS. So you need to go to the official website of fontawesome.com and as you can see there are more than 1500 free icons and 7700 paid fonts. But I usually don't need any paid icons because everything that I actually need is available in the free fonts. Now if we scroll down, you can see a lot of fonts that you can use and they might be pretty useful for you. But there are two ways how you could add fonts. You can download the library and add it in your root folder, just like we did with our image folder. But that's not what I want to do because it's way easier to use a script and use it in your Font Awesome. So whenever you're on a homepage of Font Awesome, let's click on start for free. Recently, Font Awesome updated their policies and systems. So what we actually need to do now in order to use it is to sign up with our email. And trust me, they won't be spamming us with emails. Now let's wire down your email. So I will use my personal one because I'm already using it on my business account. So let's click on send kit code. So you need to check your email and I will pause the video for a second and I will be right with you when I have my email. So whenever you have received your email of Font Awesome, you need to click to confirm it. I can close off my email. Well, we need to set up a password. So let me add a password. Let's click on set password and continue. So my name is Dari. My last name is Nazar. And well, we'll start using it from 2019. Let's click on go. And you can see that we are provided with a script link right here. And we haven't talked about script elements, but what we can do is to, well, copy it. We can go to our code editor, to our index.html, and right below our title, we can paste it. So let's save it, and let's go back to the browser. Let's close off the kit because we don't need it right now. Let's go back to Font Awesome, the homepage again. And before we actually start searching for icons, I always recommend you to click on free because I don't want you to find an awesome font icon that you actually cannot use because they are not free. You can either search for fonts or you could scroll down. If you're new, I'll just recommend you to look around and see what type of fonts they have. But let's say that you want to add social links, so a Facebook link. So let's write down Facebook. Let's click on, well, which one you actually want. So let's say the second one. And right below the name, you can see a class, and it's an I class. If you click on it, it will actually copy it. So let's go back to our code editor right now. And well, let's say in our test, let's paste it right here. So let's save it. Let's go back to the browser and refresh our project. Let's refresh the browser. And right here, you can see that our font awesome is implemented inside our website but it has no styling right now. So what we actually can do is to style it on two different ways. We can style the I class and we can style the class name Fab. And I always recommend you to style the class because you don't want to style a global icon that you will be using on multiple places on your website. So let's say that you want to use a red background and if you style the global, you are stuck with one color. Now let's go back to the style sheet and style the class fab. So at the bottom of our style sheet, let's write down punctuation mark fab, curly brackets. And like I said in the beginning of the episode, it is awesome to use font icons because you can change the color. So let's say color to red. And we can also set the font size to, well, let's say 80 pixels. Let's save it, refresh it, and you can see that the icon changed to red and the font size is way bigger. We can also add a hover. So let's copy our fab. Let's write down column hover after it. 
and let's set the color to blue. Save it, refresh the browser, and if we hover over it, the color is blue. This was it for this episode, and in our next episode, I want to add an arrow button that will redirect us to the next section of the page with a smooth scrolling effect. If you do enjoy my content and you want to see more, leave this video a thumbs up, and if you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button.